because I have really, truly exciting news. Mum, Polly, I'm going to be the prima ballerina in the school ballet. Angelina, that's wonderful. What's a prima ballerina? Prima ballerina. It's the principal dancer, the one who gets to dance the most. I'll probably have a very big solo, maybe two. And at the end, when I take my bow, I'll get the loudest applause. Angelina! 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 Are you going to be a princess? A fairy princess. Actually, a fairy who becomes a princess because I'm the best dancer in the magic forest. Magic forest? Fairy princess? Can I be a prima ballerina too? Sorry, Polly. Only one dancer gets to be the prima ballerina. But maybe when you're big like me, you can be in the corps de ballet. Corps de... Huh? <laughs> corps de ballet. That's what we call the dancers who dance together in a group. So many new words. That's because there are so many different kinds of dancers. Did you know the counting can be fun? Let's begin a song with number one. The numbers two and three come next in line and soon you'll see that the magic has begun. Number four, to move it right along. The next position in our counting song And then the number five will bring your ballet shoes alive Places everyone for every ballerina Just before they point a toe Must know their numbers One, two, five And with these five positions You'll be ready for the show And your ballet ballerina, but Gracie has a solo and Alice dances with a partner. How about Vicky? Vicky's not going to dance because she wants to paint the scenery. Like painting pictures? Mm-hmm. Really big pictures. Oh, that's what I want to do. All right, class. How about I tell you a story? It's called Once Upon a Pillow. Oh, wonderful, Miss Bean! Hooray! The ballet we're going to put on is the story of a fairy named Fern, who's the best dancer in the entire magic forest. <laughs> Fern's dancing captures the attention of the elf prince. And he brings her many gifts. <laughs> Unfortunately, another fairy becomes jealous. Jealous? She's mad because she wants attention too. So she gives Fern her own gift. An enchanted pillow. And as soon as Fern rests her head on it, she falls into a deep, endless sleep. Never to dance again. <gasps> Did you say never dance again? Oh no! This is not good. Go to Mrs. Thimble's for smoothies. Wow, <laughs> you'll have to tell me everything about you simply it. You must try the blue. Miss Mimi. Oh, what is it, Angelina? I was thinking, maybe someone else should be the fairy princess. But you're perfect for the role. Fern is the best dancer in the forest. And you're one of the best dancers in my class. I know, but... Fern is lively and quick. I, I know, but... Fern is fearless and brave. And you're not afraid of anything. That's not exactly true. I'm afraid that if I'm the fairy princess, I won't get to dance very much. You're the principal dancer. Who falls asleep never to dance again. I'd rather be a sprite like Alice. 
I'd rather be a sprite like Alice. Or a magic tree and dance in the corps de ballet. Or how about a firefly? Firefly? There aren't any fireflies in this ballet. I know! That's why I can't be the fairy princess. We need a firefly. Okay, Angelina. I'll make you a promise. If you still don't want to be the fairy princess after this afternoon's rehearsal, you can be a firefly. Hooray! But you have to promise to stay till the very end of the rehearsal. I promise. I think you'll see how important your part is and how much fun it is to put all the parts together to tell a wonderful story. Okay, let's begin rehearsal. First, we listen to the music. Hear those violins? Ooh, they sound like sparkly fairy dust. That's right. The violins are setting the scene. Once upon a time, there was a magic forest. And in that forest lived... A fairy named Fern? Mm-mm. Mm. A magic tree. We begin with two échappé sauté, then stop in fifth position. Also in that forest lived... A fairy named Fern? A forest sprite. Alice, chasse around the magic tree and finish in fourth position. Then, all the other magical creatures of the forest enter. <gasps> Not you, Angelina. And dance happily about. What's everyone so happy about? They're happy because Fern the Fairy is here. Oh, that's me! What happened to the music? I haven't danced yet. That was just the introduction, Angelina. And now it's over. But don't go away, Fairy Fern. Your friends want to give you gifts. <gasps> Come along, flowers. You too, Magic Tree and Sprite. Beret in a circle around Fern. Um, did someone say something about gifts? Elf Prince, that's your cue. The bad fairy is coming. Is that what I think it is? The enchanted pillow. As soon as you touch it, you'll fall asleep. No, Angelina, don't don't run away. Take the pillow. Do I have to? Mm-hmm. Now lay down your head and fall fast asleep. But I'm not in the least bit tired. Angelina! <sighs> Angelina, what are you doing? You're supposed to be asleep. I'm sleepwalking. Fairies do not sleepwalk. You're under a sleeping spell. I know, never to dance again. Maybe I can help Vicky backstage. Hmm. <laughs> it's not fair, Vicky. Everybody gets to dance a lot but me. Alice gets to be a sprite. All I get to do is sleep. Look on the bright side, Angelina. When you sleep, you get to dream. But I don't want to dream. I want to dance. Just like you wanted to paint. I know. It's so much fun. Oh, whoops. Well, being Fern the Fairy isn't fun. It's the worst role in the whole ballet. Maybe you could swap with someone. I tried, but Miss Mimi made me promise to wait until rehearsal was over. Oh, I wish everyone would just hurry up. Angelina, 
Angelina, can you come back out here, please? Your forest friends have been looking everywhere for you. They want to break your spell. Break my spell? You mean, Fan is going to wake up? Yes, indeed. But she has to fall asleep first. No problem. Watch this. Well done, Fern. Very convincing. Okay, magical friends. It's your turn. Now what? Now you leap to your feet and dance. I dance? That's right. You dance and dance and dance. Excellent, Fern. Okay, sprites and magic trees, take Fern's hands and join in. Hear the music? It's getting louder. That means the prince is coming. I slept and slept and slept. But now I get to dance and dance and dance. Miss Mimi was right. My part was important, and so was everyone else's. All our parts came together to tell a stupendous story. And that's the best part. that tells a story. Oh, sing it again! The fairy whispered the key to the king who worked hard to be big and strong and rise to win the prize. The end. Sing another story song. Polly, you draw the Great King Mouse and I'll practice my dance to Marco's song. Yippee! I love drawing! I'll get my favourite colours. I have to take care of Polly today because Mum and Dad are very busy. Mum's carrot cake is ready. Mum! Thank you. 
Thank you, Angelina. I'll get it. Ooh, can I get the cake? Mm. Polly, your Great King Mouse needs a nose. Oh, yes, a big nose. I don't know what I'd do without your help today, Angelina. I'm trying to bake and sew at the same time. These are for the Earth Day cake sale. And that must be Mrs. Farr to pick up her dress. Luckily, I've just finished it. It's really busy around here. Hmm. <gasps> Mum, look at my great King Mouse. Oh, pretty. Can I try it on? Polly, the King Mouse needs a crown. Okie dokie. You're an angel, Angelina. Hello, Mrs. Farr. I have to go home for dinner. Bye. You're welcome, Mrs. Farr. Bye, Mrs. Mouseling. Nice to see you, Marco. Better finish the carrot cakes. Hello, I'm home. Daddy! Hello, dear. How was the big sale at the music shop? Oh, it was packed. I'm exhausted. Girls, I know your mum had a big day too, so I bought us a pizza. Is it a triple cheese? Quadruple. Oh dear, that must be the Earth Day Committee to pick up the cakes. Let me help you. Me too. Let me, let me, let me carry a cake. Finally, my work is done. Now it's time for pizza. It feels good to sit down. Yum, yum! After pizza, let's go outside and play hopscotch. Uh... Uh-oh. Oh, Polly, I have an idea. Why don't we go upstairs and find a game to play? Oh, a game! Great idea, Angelina. You may both be excused. Yes! Finally, a chance to relax. I love to help Mum and Dad. I do too. Let's go and play with them. Uh, Polly, you know how it feels when you play in the park all day and then come home and we dance and play hide and seek? <laughs> After such a big day, you feel a little tired. Mm-hmm. Well, that's how Mum and Dad feel now. They've had a really busy day, so they want to relax. Relax? It means sitting and being quiet, not playing. Like when you come to see me dance in a ballet. I dance and you just relax and watch. Oh, let's put on a show for Mum and Dad so they can really relax. <gasps> we'll write a ballad. A story song! About princesses who help the king and queen relax. We'll make it stupendous! I think I'll put my feet up and read the newspaper.
to do. The show is about to begin. The show? What show? Don't worry, you don't have to do anything. You can just relax. Once upon a time in a... I forgot. Just a minute. Maybe we can watch the show tomorrow. No, no, we want you to relax tonight. If you forget your words, I'll give you a clue. If the word is dance, look at me and I'll dance. If the word is small, I'll crouch down and make myself small. I like a lose. <laughs> if you forget, just look at me. Okay. <sighs> well, I guess I won't be reading the newspaper anytime soon. <sighs> the girls just want to do something nice for us. Ta da! Again. Time for our show. the king and queen to unwind but they wouldn't sit still kept moving around things got in the way and they never sat down the princesses tried their best but tonight was the royal ball but they were too little they were too small no one paid any mind at all oh tonight was the too small, no one paid any mind at all. All at once, a man very oh. Oops. Sorry, Angelina. Don't worry. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, you stand still and I'll dance. Okie dokie, I'll do my best. <laughs> All at once a magic fairy danced by and waved her magic wand. The princesses grew, oh how they grew. No longer small, they were suddenly tall. Then the king and the queen stopped ever. Took a short rest to prepare for their guest, then began the royal ball. Oh no, they're sleeping! We have to wake them up and do it again! Wait, remember why we wanted to put on the show for Mum and Dad? So they could relax! Yes! And I think they're very relaxed now. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. I have a great idea. Stupendous! Shh! And the king and the queen and the princesses lived happily ever after. What a wonderful big sister you are. Thank you, Mum. And a wonderful daughter, too. <sighs> Thank you for keeping an eye on Polly all day. Now it's time for me to put Polly to bed. <sighs> and now it's time for me to relax. <sighs>
the Cinderella Ballet by the Russian composer Provolinsky. Now remember, AJ, you're the prince arriving at the ball, so walk proudly. AJ makes a great prince. And with that beautiful tutu, you're the perfect Cinderella. Thank you. I couldn't wait to wear it, so I put it on for the rehearsal. Where on earth did you find it? Actually, it's a bit like the Cinderella story. <laughs> well, now I'm interested. Well, it all started when Holly and I were playing hide and seek in the attic just after we moved to our new house. <gasps> oh. Three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. costume for ballerinas. I want a tutu too. This tutu isn't even mine. I just found it in this box. But I wish it did belong to me. Whose is it then? Good question. And how did it get in our attic? I don't know. Do you think it could be Mum's from when she was little? Let's go and ask her. Dad, look at this tutu we found in the attic. We think it's Mum's. Hmm. Well, your mother is out running errands. You can ask her when she gets back. Polly, if this tutu is Mum's, wouldn't she have given it to us already? I suppose so. And if she was trying to hide it from us in the attic, she knows we'd find it sooner or later. Yes, we're good snoops. This tutu must have been someone else's. But whose? Wait a minute. Dad, didn't Mrs Thimble live in this house when she was a mouseling? Oh, yes, she did. Perhaps Mrs Thimble knows whom the tutu belonged to. Perhaps it's even hers. Let's go and ask her. Dad, we're going to Mrs Thimble's shop. Just make sure you're home for lunch at 12. That's when Mum will be back from her errands. We will, Dad. We'll be back at 12. On the dot. We didn't have much time, but we had to find out who the tutu belonged to. So, now the prince waltzes Cinderella across the stage. One, two, three. One, two, three. I see what you mean, Angelina. Your story is like Cinderella. Yes, finding the tutu is sort of like finding the glass slipper. And then looking for its real owner. And still make it home before the clock strikes 12. Exactly. So just listen to what happened next. Hi, Mr. Thimble. Hello! Well, hello, mouselings. Can we ask you a question? Certainly. Just give me a moment. I'm gathering items for an order that was placed over the phone. 
Polly, look at this. It's a picture of a ballerina. Not just any ballerina, Polly. Doesn't she look like someone we know? Mrs Thimble? This tutu could be... Hers! I'm sure the tutu belonged to Mrs Thimble. She probably used to be a famous ballerina. A super famous ballerina. Why, Angelina, I just love your beautiful tutu. Isn't it your beautiful tutu? No, I've never owned a tutu like that. <laughs> I've never owned a tutu at all. But isn't this new in the photo? Actually, that's my sister, Mrs Nimble. She used to be quite the dancer. She looks just like you. We looked exactly alike, but I was never as nimble on my toes as her. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> See? If this tutu isn't Mrs Thimble's, then whose is it? Angelina, look at all those things. <gasps> Everything's hot pink, just like the tutu. Yes, those are the things I was gathering together for the phone order from Ms Mimi. <gasps> Ms Mimi? Yes, Ms Mimi just loves the colour pink. That's why she ordered these hot pink markers. This hot pink notebook and this beautiful hot pink umbrella. Could the tutu be Miss Mimi's? But how did it get in our house? Let's ask her. Mrs Thimble, we can take those to Miss Mimi for you. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Angelina. We're going to find the tutu owner. Hooray! Soon, I hope, because it's almost 12 o'clock. Listen, Mouselings, the waltz is getting faster, more intense. It's almost midnight. So, did the tutu belong to Miss Mimi? Well, remember in Cinderella, the prince has to try the slipper on lots and lots of Mouselings. Yes, it takes him a long time to find the true owner. Exactly. Well, listen to what happened next. Polly and I found Miss Mimi in the dance studio. Hi, Miss Mimi. Hello. Hello, Mouselings. Mrs Thimble said you'd be bringing me the things I ordered from the shop. Thank you very much. Um, we also brought something else. Oh, really? What? She's wearing it. What do you mean? My tutu. I mean, your tutu. It is yours, isn't it? Oh, Angelina, I didn't even notice the tutu. It's yours, yes? I was going to say it's beautiful, but no, it's not mine. I was so sure the tutu was Miss Mimi's, but it wasn't. It looked like our search was not over. It's not yours. Are you sure? I'm sure. I would definitely remember owning a tutu like that. Hmm, then it must belong to someone else. But who? We were completely out of ideas. Now it is midnight. Hear how the music sounds like a ticking clock. Cinderella, it's time to go. I 
can't believe it. I really thought the tutu belonged to Miss Mimi. So did we, and now we had to get home by 12. Just like Cinderella had to be home by midnight. Finish the story, Angelina. What happened next? Well, Polly and I had almost given up on finding the tutu's owner. You made it home in time for lunch. Pea soup with cheese sandwiches. Uh, I thought you loved pea soup. It's not that, Dad. It's this tutu. What's wrong with it? I think it's rather pretty. It's stupendous! But we spent all morning trying to find the owner and we haven't even come close. Not even a teeny bit close. <sighs> Um, I... I'm not sure what to tell you. If only you could tell us who used to own my tutu. Your, Your tutu? tutu? Yes, that's mine from when I was a little mouseling. I took a few ballet classes, you know. But why were you hiding the tutu in the attic? Oh, it must have been in the box that Grandma just sent me. That's right. She said she was cleaning out her garage. And she found some of my old things. I haven't had a chance to look through the box yet. I expect you would have if you knew there was a special hot pink tutu in it. That's true. I would have given it to you right away. But then we wouldn't have had our adventure. Yes, we went all over. Looking for the owner of the tutu, even though it was our very own mum. The, the whole, whole time. <laughs> So that's how you got your tutu. I told you it was a good story. Positions, everyone. The show's about to start. And Cinderella gets to wear the best hot pink tutu ever. Today, Chipping Cheddar's in a carnival mood, and it's all because of Marco. Dr. AJ. What? I... I... <sighs> Marco, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, Vicky. 
It's just... <sighs> You're not fine at all. What's the matter, Marco? I know this sounds silly, but in a couple of days from now, it's going to be the Costa Mouser Carnival. Costa Mouser Carnival? Yes. It's where I used to live before we moved to Chipping Cheddar, and every year they'd have a carnival. There'd be music and dancing and a carnival queen. A carnival queen? I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be a carnival without a carnival queen. Oh, I wish we could have a carnival. And then we'd have a great big conga dance with bongo drums and maracas and cowbells and would party, party, party! Conga dance? Is that hard to do? It's the easiest dance in the world. Here, put your paws around my waist. You sort of bounce and shake your leg like this. La 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 la. Angelina, <gasps> you grab hold of Alice. And then Gracie, <gasps> you join in. And Vicky, la 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 <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Oh, but we're not in Costa Mouser, are we? But we could be. <gasps> we could have our own mini Costa Mouser carnival right here in Chipping Cheddar, especially for Marco. Vicky, that's a brilliant idea. Shh. I think I'll go home and... Oh. Bye-bye, Marco. I hope you feel better. Thanks. See you tomorrow. So what do we do for this carnival? Well, first, we're going to need some instruments. Dad! Dad! Angelina, is everything all right? Yes, it couldn't be writer. Writer. Is that a word? I think it is now. So what's all the excitement? Vicky's had a great idea. See, Marco was feeling a bit down in the dumps. So we're going to have a Costa Mouse and Carnival right here in Chippy <laughs> Cheddar. And they'll be dancing and things and Hey, all... hey, whoa! Slow down. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. So do we have any instruments we can use for the carnival? Well, I think I've got a set of bongos somewhere. Will they be any good? They'd be great. But we'll need some other instruments as well. We want to make it a real Costa Mouse and Carnival. Well, why don't we go and see what I've got in my shop? Oh, thank you, Mr. Mouseling. Right. Now I'll go and see what I've got. I'm sure Dad has something just right for... Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Dad, are you all right? Yeah, fine. <sighs> Bit of a wobbly shelf. These ought to fit the bill. A pair of maracas. Great! Thank you, Mr Mouseling. And what's that? This is a cowbell. How's that? Sounds fantastic! Thanks, Dad. We promise we'll take really good care of them and bring them back. Come on, Angelina. Let's go to the lunchtime theatre. We can practice before Marco gets there. Angelina, when is this carnival of yours? The day after tomorrow. Everyone's coming. It's going to be great! Ah. Uh, Dad, is something wrong? I think you forgot. It's Polly's birthday the day after tomorrow. I did forget. So, aren't you going to blow out your birthday candles, Polly, darling? Mm. What about your present? Aren't you going to open it? Mm -mm -mm. What's the matter, Polly? It's your birthday. You should be having fun. I can't have any fun. This is the worst birthday ever. <laughs> because Angelina isn't here. Everyone! 
everyone, look what I've got! <laughs> <gasps> well done, Vicky! <laughs> Great! And Angelina's got some bongos! Yes. Come on, Angelina, join in! No, you play the malice. You'd better get some practice in. Angelina? What's the matter? Dad reminded me. Our carnival's on the same day as Polly's birthday. And we'd got everything planned to make it a really great day for her. She'd be really disappointed if I wasn't there to celebrate. Oh. Hmm. So sorry, everyone. I won't be able to help with the carnival. Oh, no. But don't worry. We'll try to manage. It just won't be the same without you, Angelina. I feel awful. I was so looking forward to the carnival, but Polly... Well, Polly's birthday will be fun too. If only there was a way Angelina could be in the carnival too. <gasps> but of course there is! And it will make the day perfect! I can't believe it's the day of the carnival! This is so exciting! Have we got all the instruments? Mm -hmm. Maracas, bongos and cowbell. Got them all! I just hope it all works. What's happening about Marco? How are we going to get him to come out here? We need someone to go in and get him. I'll do that! Hi, Marco! Are you all right? Well, as okay as I could be on the day of the Costa Mouser Carnival that I'm not going to. Ah. What is it, AJ? Um, Vicky wants to see you. What about? Um, I think she said it was about something really interesting. She's in the lunchtime theatre. All right, AJ. But why are you holding a cowbell? All right, is everyone ready? Ready! Marco's on his way! Great! You know what to do! What did you want, Vicky? To give you your very own carnival, right here in Chipping Cheddar! Huh? Ah! Just like Costa Mouser. But where's Angelina? That's the next part of the surprise. You leave the carnival to Mrs. Thimble's, then meet me at Angelina's house. All right. I just need to get the carnival queen ready. Uh huh? <laughs> Never mind. You'll see when you get there. Now let's get the carnival started. Hooray! 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 Carnival. Oh, I just popped over with a birthday present for Polly. That's really sweet of you. Do you want to come in and give it to her? Mm -hmm. Hi, Vicky. It's my birthday. Yes, it is, Polly. And I've brought you a present. A present? That's right. <sighs> what is it? It's a scepter. The Carnival Queen has to carry it at the Carnival Procession. I think Vicky's asking you to be Carnival Queen. But I'm still too little. Well, you can be Carnival Princess then. Carnival. It seems to be coming to our house. And a carnival princess is going to need a carriage. Follow me! <laughs> <laughs> 
Your carriage awaits, Your Highness. has taken a bite of the poison cheese and fallen into an enchanted sleep. The kindly troll is beside herself with worry. Alas, alack, and boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. She's fallen asleep. What shall I do? But all is not lost. Here comes my favourite part. A brave prince rides up to Mausolina. Hark! What a beautiful princess! Mm. Hmm. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, happy day! What joy! What bliss! She's been awakened by true love's kiss! And they lived happily ever after. My handsome prince. Not anymore. The show is over. True. What's that, Marco? It smells spicy. It's curry, just like the curry I had when I visited Mount Sahari in India. Mm. Mm. Sounds like you had an amazing time there. I saw so much. Look at this. It's one of the most important stories in India, the Ramayana. One of the most important stories in India is... a comic book? It didn't start out that way. It's a long poem with 24,000 verses. But it's been made into ballets, musical plays, even <laughs> comic books. That's so amazing! The costumes are really pretty. Come on, look at this. These are tabla, Indian drums. Great! Nice rhythms, Marco. 
I'm glad I found you all. It's time to plan our next lunchtime theatre performance. I vote for Mausolina. Me too. Yes, it's my favourite. But we just did Mausolina. So? I never get tired of it. Me neither. Well, I do. Especially since all I do is kiss the princess. Let's do something else for a change. Like what? Like... How about the Ramayana? Or at least we could sing an Indian song from it. But no one's ever heard of it. Except you. And over a billion others in India. Tell you what, we'll draw straws. Whoever picks the short straw gets to choose. That's fair. <laughs> I won! Looks like we're doing the Ramalama. The Ramayana? You like it? All right, here's the song I learned in India. Pravishya, Pravishya. That doesn't sound like any song I've ever heard before. The words are in Hindi, an Indian language. To Maharanyam. Even the music sounds different. Indian musical scales, ragas, have different notes than the scales we're familiar with. Dantakaranyam Atmavan There's no way we can sing this. But Marco won fair and square. I know. I just mean that if we even try to sing this song, we'll make a mess of it. We'll be laughed off the stage. We're trying everything to get Marco to do Mausolina instead of the Indian song. What if you don't have to kiss me at the end? I know you don't like that part. I'm sticking with the Ramayana. What if you play the kindly troll instead of me? That's a bigger part. No. I know. Instead of an evil stepmother, you could play the evil stepfather. You could wear a long cape and do an evil laugh. <laughs> I want to do the Ramayana. Just give it a chance. Please. We will. All right. Fine. All right. Try the first line. Pravishya, Pravishya, to Maharanyam. Pravishya, Pravishya, to Maharanyam. You're singing it wrong. It's not poor wish. It's not about a horrified professor either. It's not any of those things. It's in Hindi, remember? Maybe it would help if we understood what we were singing. Yes. Please tell us more about the Ramayana, Marco. All right. What are those, Marco? Did I mention the Ramayana is also a puppet show? There once was a brave prince, Rama. As oldest son of the king, Rama was next in line for the throne. But the king had promised his new wife, Rama's stepmother, that he would grant her two wishes. She wished that her son, Parata, would be king instead of Rama. The king had no choice but to obey. So Rama was banished to the Dandaka forest for 14 years. Rama's wife Sita and his other brother, Lakshmana, went with him because they were loyal to him and didn't want him to be alone. Hmm. Mausolina was banished to the forest by her stepmother too. Oh, of course. So the Ramayana's a fairy tale. It's a lot more than that. It's about friends who stand by you, no matter what. Hmm. It's about doing the right thing and never giving up. It is a good story, Marco. I'll give it another go. Me too! I will too. Thanks. And maybe it'll be easier if we take it one word at a time. Pravishya! Pravishya! No, no. To Maharanyam. To Maharanyam. <sighs> Oh, I know you are all really trying, 
but maybe this song is just too hard. I suppose we should just do Mouselina after all. I feel so bad for Marco. He really wanted to do that song. I know, but we're just going to ruin it. I don't think Marco would want that. <gasps> oh no, he left his backpack. Do you think he'd mind if I read his Ramayana comic book? I'm still wondering what happened after Rama got to the forest. I don't think he'd mind if you're careful. <gasps> what? What happens? The evil Ravana takes Rama's wife, Sita, from the forest. And then what? I'll show you. <laughs> Rama got help from Hanuman, the son of the wind god. Hanuman had superpowers. He flew across the sea and found Sita. Rama couldn't fly, but that didn't stop him. He built a bridge across the sea to rescue Sita and defeat Ravana. Rama returned home and was crowned king. He ruled wisely and well for many years. Ha ha! That was stupendous! Mausolina doesn't have the son of the wind god. Or a bridge across the sea. The Ramayana's a great story. And it's great to have friends who stand by you, no matter what, like Rama did. We can be friends like that too. The Ramayana's also about doing the right thing and never giving up. Yes, if Rama can build a bridge across the sea, then we can certainly learn this song. We want to surprise Marco by singing the Ramayana song, but we need help. No problem. I can even show you some Indian classical dance moves to go with the song. Oh, that looks so graceful. Marco will love this. We'll make him feel like he's back in India again. Remember, don't tell him what we're up to. Pretend we're still doing Mausolina. <laughs> we're getting it. We just needed to try harder and not give up. Like Rama. Let's try that part again. Are you reading the Ramayana again? Yes. Well, I've got a lot of time before I go on stage. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Welcome, everyone. Today we're bringing you a song from a wonderful story loved all around the world for many, many years. Now, Selina. The Ramayana from India. What? What? Surprise! <laughs> Ramayana, Ramayana, hear the tale of Rama. Atmava, man of courage, Atmava and Rama. Change from Mouselina.
By purchasing this DVD, you are supporting your local film and television industry. Thank you.